Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty, back with Art of Murder, FBI Confidential. I'm hoping this will be the last part and we'll finally start getting some answers, but for now we probably have to go face the music with our boss. We haven't been told as much, but like... I, I guess we took the jaw to do like a dental records thing. But I still swear that paper told us the professor was dead. Maybe it actually said Nick was dead, or Rache. I still want Nick to be dead. <laughs> At least that would explain why he hasn't been in the game. Hey, Ruth. Did you see Nick in Peru? Nope. Was he even planning to go? Hard to say. He read your note and vanished again, although he called for you earlier today. Okay, I'll call him later. Sorry. I'm about to get fired. Maybe he doesn't know we were even in Peru. You made contact? What's the deal? Yes, Alvarado told me about the expedition. And? Anything new? He's dead. Yeah, but we're still in the shit. Meaning? After I left, Alvarado was murdered. Don't tell me that... It gets worse. It was another one of our weird ritual killings. We didn't even examine a body. Where's Nick? Was he with you? What do you think? He missed his flight. I have never seen him. Of course. Why aren't you angrier? I had to go. Talk. Fast. As we thought, treasure was the basis of the argument between Warren and the Professor. Warren and the others abandoned the Professor, his daughter, and her friend Rache. Seems the Indians got them after that. But anyway, I went and checked out Akakor for myself. You did what? Yeah, I found Rache's grave, too, just as Alvarado described it. So what are you thinking now? Well, they could be the professor's remains. Analysis of the jawbone I retrieved will confirm or deny that. Alvarado's dying the same night you visit doesn't look too good. How do we explain that? Pfft. Alvarado was barricaded in. I practically had to beg to be let in. Does it make it look better? Which he did, only after scrutinizing my ID in that photo for a thousand years. And then he died. Well, it could have been Warren. Or Brantford. How are you and Nick working out? I've never met Nick. We haven't, er, uh, started to cooperate in full. I think Nick is dead. And that's it? Time's running out here, Agent. We need results, not dreams and holiday stories. I kind of suspect you, Chief. I do what I can. And more! You broke nearly every rule in our foreign contact manual! I felt it was time to get more hands on. The only hands out there were on Alvarado's throat, as they cut his beating heart out. It's hard to do one-handed. Come on! It was always likely he'd be hit. A likelihood you may well have improved. I'm taking you off the case as of now. I'm assuming full command from here on out. Plus, you're suspended from active duty. Chief, I only need two more days. I'm this close. It's not open to discussion, and I want your final report by tonight. I'll have to hit that library again to do that. Fine. Vacation time's over, Lara Croft. Just get it done. Hey, that was no vacation out there. I bled to move this investigation forward. Save your energy. You'll need it later, if you're lucky. I want the suspension in writing. Why, of course. It doesn't count until you Why put it on paper. Why, of course. It doesn't count until you put it on paper. I'm still on duty. Tell me one thing. Is Nick a suspect? At this point, I can't exclude the possibility. He has no alibi for anything. No one has ever seen this man. This whole Nick never being around better pay off. Sorry, honey. What do, I do, what do I do with the jawbone exactly? Like, I don't think it's gonna fit in one of them tubes. Or do 
probably just leave for the library. It's still in there. Only... Well, that was... This isn't... I don't really think this is gonna work, but... I don't wanna have to come back here. It's not that... They do... Are you just supposed to head to the library, then? Just heading straight there. Just walking around with a jaw in our pocket. What if the librarian's daughter is, or niece, is that Alice girl? Wouldn't that be a twist? still here. Hey, good morning to you. Ah, it's you again, FBI. You're probably surprised to see me, huh? I am, but I'm glad you're here. The niece fell ill after the trip. Worn out, I suppose. Can I help you? I hope so. Today I'm looking for information on Professor Dickinson. Ah, I remember him. You probably want to know about his tragic expedition, I suppose. That's right. I've been looking for stuff on that expedition. You should have said so right away. Oh, and I'm not sure, but I think our bookworm was someone from your side. Chief. Bookworm? Oh, the page terror? Yeah. That little vandal. Can you get me a name? That would be very useful. I'll try. And regarding Professor Dickinson? Yes, well, I remember his widow gave all the professor's notes and diaries to his assistant. Hmm, it wasn't a man named Warren, was it? Might have been. Thank you. Thank you, dearie. Stay healthy. I'm heading to the museum now. I'll have to close the reading room in a few minutes. I'm all alone here, you know. At least I was able to leave. I wonder if that microfilm is still on here. Hey, the whole real thing is gone. Okay. Nope. Completely gone. I was hoping to get a refresher on that article about the professor's death that I swear was there. Doesn't really explain either why she thought the person who ripped the page was an FBI agent. It seems like the game wants us to believe that the killer is either Chaser or Nick. Okay, the expedition's members have been checked out, but there's nothing solid on Roche. Check the stockbroker's place. He had quite a photo collection there. I'll look elsewhere. What did you find in Peru? That Nick? The 
Can we message him? This whole PDA format doesn't work for me. Gasp, it's a photo of this dude with Chaser. How did we never notice before? To John and colleagues, Noel Roche. This hairy beast is Roche? Well, we definitely got Roche's photo and signature. Hmm, does this handwriting look familiar? To John and... Now where am I going? We did ask for our suspension in writing. It's not this com- How about I try- Are we supposed to examine this place some more? I can't really tell. This may be evident. Well, we lost our gloves. I can't tell if I'm supposed to leave now. Well, let's try and go to the car. See if it lets me go anywhere. I guess we're going to the museum. Well, ain't seen you around for a while. Investigation breakdown? On the contrary. Where are we going today? Storage? The Orangery? Gift shop? The Archives. Archives? But of course. And will Madame be setting off any alarms today? Not unless you'd like me to. All right then, onward, Jeeves. Where are the Archives? Look, lady. I this guy doesn't like us, but I'm pretty sure he's fairly justified in it. <laughs> We've caused him so many problems, it's a surprise he hasn't gotten fired yet. Still waiting for Warren to turn up dead. How am I going to find these documents? There we go. That was easy. Conveniently placed dental records. How do I read that? Which is left? Right. A box full of professor... From dental records, we can establish that this is from the remains of Professor Dickinson. Okay. Now what? Was Warren. Right. Have you been out of town recently? Ah, good day to you, Agent. No, I haven't, but I gather you were in Peru. You're well informed. Alvarado told me all about the expedition and your little revolution. I don't think you know the whole truth. I just remembered. Uh, Ruth told us that Chaser's wife died. What if he's Roche and his wife was Alice? I know enough about your part. Just a thought. Do you indeed? Well, if I've done some wrong, then arrest me. Pretty sure you have done a lot wrong. Otherwise, I've no interest in baseless accusations. 
Why didn't the killer go after him first? I also know about the grave you thought was Rache's. Whose is it then? The professor's. Ah, oh, well, that could explain a lot. I never liked the idea of the professor and his daughter whirling around exacting vengeance from the guilty. So you think Rache is alive and killing? Do you have a better explanation? It's probably one of those kill everyone else and try and make you nervous things, but I don't think it's working with him. Couldn't it be the case that someone wants your treasure? Treasure? Even if this treasure existed, I don't see how five dead bodies would lead to it. Anyway, I must dash. Until the next... Six. Yes? Alvarado was killed shortly after my visit. God save us from the FBI. You're out of order. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an imp- Always with the important calls. I still suspect I'm gonna find this dude's dead body at some point. Or the final mission will be saving him. Where are we going to the subway? Chaser here. Where's the report? You got an hour. Jeez. I'm following Warren at the moment. I'm on 181st by the subway. Repeat your location, please. 181st Street Subway. Warren's leaving his vehicle and entering a tenement. You come back here right now, you hear me? You are no longer lead on this case. I'll deal with him. You in there about to deal with him, sir? From Chaser. He wants me to turn over all materials in the serial killer case to him. There's so much evidence that he's a bad guy now. From Chaser. This signature. There's similar handwriting on the photo from the stockbroker's house. The letters E, S, and N are alike in both signatures. Well, well. It's the same thing. Leon and Noel. It's it's the same letters. Messed around. I don't think she's gonna realize that though. I think I should maybe save him a game. Feels like we might be get close to a confrontation. This might end up being the last part after all. I either want Nick to save the day, or the game to just be over and then Nick shows up at the last minute and is just like, Hey, what'd I miss? Or my he really is dead theory, it turns out to be true. Because otherwise I'm not sure they can justify just him not being in this game at all. Do we have our gun? Is Ruth gonna be there? I'm kinda surprised. <sighs> he suspended me. Ah, it's not so bad. He probably isn't serious. He lumped me with the guilt for Alvarado's death, too. Huh. Well, he's been touchy with everyone lately. He wasn't even here for a few days. Because he was in Peru. When he came back in, he was acting like a bear with a splinter in its paw. It wasn't in his paw, I'll tell you that. Huh. That ain't everything either. All of a sudden, I seem to have a desk full of outstanding work and little point in going home. Yeah, I've got to have the Peru report on his desk by this evening, too. I know. He asked me to stay with you, but no way I'm working late tonight. I'm going home, honey. Oh, he won't like you in the morning. Look, if you're still writing reports, you're still an agent. Lock up before you go, would you? The key's in my drawer. Okay, Ruthie, although I'll probably be done with it soon. And don't get in any more trouble, or the chief will string me up by the balls. And when it comes to that, he's the best. What have you two been getting up to? Ruthie, I'm not entirely sure where your drawer is. Unless I'm not actually supposed to do that. To get evidence. Screw the morality of it. Human life is at stake. Warren is dying as we speak. FBI agent starts career tossing her boss's office. 
is fired the next day. We opened a drawer, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Oh, there's another door there. Is there? No. It said study. What's the password? I have no idea. Bracelet watch, popular in the eight. The heck kind of weird mechanic is this? Don't fully understand how this safe works. this rate. I think I get what I have to do now, but this is really tedious. to go into Animal Crossing because there is an event going on. You know, I normally play Animal Crossing on my iPad Mini 2, which is older. I had to save up forever to get that, but like, it, it cannot handle the gardening events. Like, it just crashes every time I try to harvest flowers. that up a little loud. Oh my gosh. Everybody has been murdered by this point. Thank goodness. I'm acting in a high necessity state. I think this is Alice Dickinson, the professor's daughter. This must be the page he tore out of the 86 yearbook at the library. Airplane tickets to Cusco, Peru. Oh shit, everything's clear now. I led him right to Alvarado. I gotta go tell Nick and then go grab Warren before he gets hit too. Let's book it, there's no time to lose. There's a newspaper collection here from 20 years ago. A police photo of a car accident. Whose car accident? 
Zoom everything we could. Is that lanky guy from the previous photo also him? Uh, let's... Are we actually supposed to call Nick? You know Nick won't answer. Nick, come on, pick up for once. Listen, Leon Chaser is Noel Roche. Roche is our killer. I'm going to the subway on 181st to intercept Warren. front offices. If I get all the way down there and it's like, no, we have to lock up first, I'm going to be really ticked off. these cute doll accessories that are in Animal Crossing and I love dolls so I want all of them but there's so many leaf tickets and I had a bunch saved up and I spent them on that stupid floral cottage cookie oh well back to murders I should try and save again I think we're getting to the end game. Okay. Is this the building which belonged to Warren's grandparents? Is this antique elevator still operational? Doors to the cellar are closed. Maybe it'll be easier by elevator. There's a light on downstairs. Maybe the elevator doors are open down there. Well, we're actually going upstairs. This is odd building design. This is the elevator's engine room. You gonna do something? Here's the heart of the mechanism. Uh -huh. I can't fiddle about here with bare hands. Are you serious right now? There's a murder! I don't know where we're supposed to get whatever we need. Better not make me go back downstairs. Oh my gosh. I have to go back down to the subway and get them freaking pliers. Like, that's so ridiculous. It could have just let Le me pick them up when I was there. I don't know what she just said. And I'm sad, but I'm not going to reload to hear it. Well, the body's gone at least. Blood is still there. <sighs> so tedious. 
this. Irreplaceable cable cutters for snipping live wires and cables. So aggravated we had to do that. Now I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Heroes. Because forging bonds is about to end and I need to get the accessories. Unless it's a red boost or a green boost. I will stop playing once we actually finish walking. But like, this is tedious as heck. Nope, it's green again. It's so aggravating. Well, I'll collect my daily feathers. I agree, Veronica. Bruno is the best looking bunny. Who'd have thunk it? Maybe. He that it will let us click on the hint thing. Maybe. 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 So it won't let us click any of them for some reason. How many times can I try? <sighs> Let's see here. It's saying something about us needing to grab a wire. Why isn't? I don't see a wire. This guide has mostly been helpful, but it wrote something at a weird part. There's supposed to be a wire somewhere. The schematics seem to indicate that we need to bypass Switchbox 2007 WB. Mm -hmm. I'll take it just in case. This is enough to do it. Why does she go in there when I click it? It's loading. Why is it loading? What a museum! Wow, is that what it loaded for? What just happened? Did I die? That was just weird. Apparently the reason for that red line was that the game was saving. 
At least the game saves before moments that could potentially What a museum! Kill you. At least it saves before moments that could potentially kill Piece you. Piece of cake. But that was still dumb. I'd never have guessed that would have worked. Uh -huh. That should work in terms of the elevator. I hope that is the last time that we need the shortcut guide. Because it's kind of sucking all the fun out of the game. It's pretty unpleasant here. She says happily. Rescue I'll him. take it. It's time to fence. Assuming they don't make us backtrack. Gas valve. A very. Oh. Well, we actually took it. Why'd anyone keep a load of water here? Forget it! I'm not entirely. Only without. I'm not entirely convinced we won't need this water. It's not. Oh no, there's water everywhere. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Inadvertently fix the problem. So now I'm on the other side of the wall. I don't know which way to go. They could only go through the tunnels in the carriages. So I'm guessing we need to get in here somewhere? A small railway carriage from 1917. Grandpa always wanted to be an engine driver. It must be genetic. A crank would be good right about now. Driving that train high on cocaine. Casey Jones is ready. Do 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 do. Or is so dead. I don't believe driving a train in real life would be this easy. didn't deserve it. You do. Well, it was Wakero who inspired me. When I saw Fairbanks' body, I thought, why not me? Why didn't I kill him? Nothing was left for me then. Only this film in my head. Of those Indians carving Alice into pieces. Rache, this isn't my fault. But it was you who left us there. I didn't want her to die either. You weren't there when they got her. None of your pals were. That's why each of them had to be taught a personal lesson. And now, it's time for yours. FBI, drop the gun! I'm the FBI! Release me, quick! Did he run? Understand though, why he kept Brantford alive. So that was Nick. I still haven't seen him. He's completely shrouded in shadows. Uh, Cutsy's getting choppy again.
Is that it? Well, I don't know if we're getting an after credit scene. Well, not much I can say because I plan to do another one of those uh, short reviews. But suffice it to say, I did not really enjoy this game. Uh, th there were some interesting ideas with the story, but I don't think they were really done particularly well. Like, I swear that article said that they found the professor's body, not Rache's. And why 20 years later does he start killing people? I guess... Hakero killed one of the dudes? By chance? Maybe he was referring to James? I can't remember James' last name? And that was an inspiration? But it just all feels really... kind of random? I don't know. And why did he keep Branford alive? Was it because Branford used to be his friend? Just kind of felt like there was a lot that was not addressed. And Warren just kind of died unceremoniously at the end, and Nick was not really part of the story at all. Like, I guess he kind of did show up to save the day, but he completely failed to save Warren. I guess he, maybe he kind of saved us? Like, did the chief shoot Warren and then try to shoot at us? I. It was very hard to tell. It was very dark. But yeah, I'm gonna do a full review on this game later. Well, a short review. Not a full review, but yeah. Yeah, I guess that's it. Well... Yeah, not much to say to that, unfortunately. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I will eventually be playing the sequel. I think the sequel is Hunt for the Puppeteer. Which I, I've seen no reviews for, so I don't know if it'll be good or bad, but... Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Have you played this game yourself? Have you played the sequel? What are your opinions? Uh, bye for now.